Coconut flour, garlic, cheddar, biscuits with eggs. Another picture of the biscuits. This is the keto um, potato soup. It's not real potatoes. It does thicken up a lot the next day. This is the sheet pan jalapeno salmon with asparagus. And I like this with uh, keto or um, with sweet potato fries. No, they are not keto. This is the spicy uh, tomato pasta. This is the quiche. This is supposed to be chicken chili. As you can see, there's not much liquid there. My way in. My steps for the week. Hi everyone, welcome to Chris's journey to lose 100 pounds. Okay, so this week I didn't lose any weight somehow. Um, I don't know if that's because of like muscle growth, um, because I am using the treadmill more, which um, it's obviously toning up my legs more since I've got it on an incline and I'm going much quicker. Um, I did do a couple of chest exercises, so like arm chest exercises. So I did, um, the, um, uh, inclined push-up and, the um, the, uh, what is it? Like the tricep dip thing. So I did like 30 push-ups total this week and, um, I think only like 20 dips. So of the like tricep dip thing. Um... I don't know, I was just kind of feeling it. I don't know if it's something I'll keep up with or not, but I'm just being honest with you all, so. Um, also, oh, I had to take antibiotics this week, so um, kind of a little TMI, but whatever. Um, I had a hair follicle get infected somehow, um, so I had to uh, take some antibiotics and that kind of messed up my whole routine, at least on Friday it really did because um, on Friday it made me nauseous, so I had to eat sooner than my normal window. Um, and I thought I was gonna have to eat with that like every meal for like every 12 hours, but I didn't have to. It was mostly just Friday that it interfered. And then for the rest of the week, I reduced my workout to 3.8 kilometers per hour instead of four. So, I, my watch was even showing that my heart rate was a much higher than what it was prior to. Um, so I adjusted it. Um, it's kind of what I had to adapt. Other than that, I ate pretty much on time. Um, Saturday might have been a couple hours off. I don't remember. But yeah, other than that, everything was pretty much exactly the way it should be. Um... Oh, on Friday, I really didn't feel well. Um, so yeah, I was trying to figure out about like if I actually had to eat with medicine or not, because it told me that I didn't have to, but I could. Um, and the nausea, nausea thing definitely hit me. So um, I ate three meals that day instead of two. The only other thing I could think of that could have got me is the sweet potato that I cheated with. But I mean, I usually include some potatoes from time to time. So I doubt that's the case. Um, there is things that say like if you're growing muscle or like tear your muscle, not like tear, tear, just like working out, they call it a, like a light tear in your muscles or something, that you could have like extra water or something. So maybe it's a little extra water weight, plus carbs can hold a little extra water weight. So maybe that's why I haven't lost any weight this week. Um, I'm not concerned about it because I know that I was doing everything I should, so um oh so the meals this week let's see um the scrambled eggs and cheddar garlic biscuits okay so the taste was good on this but the garlic biscuits um i don't really like things that i feel like i could easily choke on and this just felt like it i don't know it felt like it was like i don't know difficult to go down or something it's weird so, um, yeah, I'm not a fan of these cheddar biscuits. I mean, they taste good, but I don't know. It's just a weird thing. I don't know how to describe it well. 
Okay, uh, the sheet pan jalapeno salmon was fantastic, but it actually bothered my fingers this time. Normally it never does, but um, the jalapenos, yeah, I didn't put on gloves and man, put on gloves, so. Um, but yeah, it was great. It was a good, really good dish. Oh, um, instead of cooking the recommended time, um, my thing recommended, um, 425 on the thing, on the like bag for the salmon, I think is what it recommended. And then, um, so it said, to, to, okay, so the recipe called for baking at 400 for 12 to 15 minutes, but my like the actual bag of the salmon that I bought, because I was cook a double order of this, so it said like 425 and to do, um, I think it was like 20 something minutes or something. Like literally it's just on the back of the bag of the salmon, it tells you what to do. Um, so it was like a frozen bag of like those really long salmons. Um, this is the mill, the salmon mill is the one that I had the sweet potato fries with and they were really good. My kid even enjoyed those. Um, the other mill went on Tuesday was leftovers and then the ham and potato soup. So like I said, I did not use ham. Um, I used beef on this and it was good. It was a bit odd, but it was really good. I think it probably would have been better with ham or like a, like sausage or something. Sorry, I'm randomly feeling itchy. I don't know. Um, so that would be the only thing is maybe playing with different meats that I try with this. Other than that, it was really good. Wednesday was leftovers and tomato is the spicy tomato pasta. Okay, so this did not work out well for us. Um, so I had tried to tweak a recipe that I found that was non-keto and I didn't account for the fact that she calls for like four cups of water, which was way too much. Um, so I used three cups of water, but even then I had to drain it because the, the water portion was just like too spicy afterward. It just wasn't good. So I think maybe one to two cups of water would do, do good here. Um, other than that, I think it was good. I think it would it would be better next time. Okay, the simple quiche mill. I did not know what to think about this. Okay, so when I first made it, I followed all the instructions to the T, didn't change anything. And um, like, I was concerned if it was done all the way. Uh, cause it was too gooey, but I think that was, and I'm, I'm pretty confident now that that was just purely because of the, uh, cream cheese that is melted inside of it. So, because leftovers were fantastic after it, like, you know, got more solid sitting in the fridge. It was fantastic. I love the mill, but the first bit of this mill, I hated. I didn't really like it at all. So just kind of preparing you if it doesn't taste right to you give it a day um or just skip it if that's what you want but my husband enjoyed it that day he thought there was nothing wrong with it so it might have just been me being paranoid i don't know friday was leftovers and the keto chicken chili um Okay, yeah, I just made this, uh, well, I made it earlier, but I have, um, I still have some leftovers of this, and it's really good. So, I intended to have this, I'm pretty sure I intended to have this with noodles. Uh, I don't remember, but I intended to, I thought I intended to have that with noodles, but um, we didn't go to the stores. So that's what it didn't. It needed something. Um, it was, it was missing something and it wasn't really like a chili per se, in my opinion. It wasn't much of a soup. I mean, it did have some soupiness to it, but it really wasn't much of a soup. It thickened up a lot after it was refrigerated. So I wouldn't really call this a soup. If anything, it was kind of like, you can make it like a pasta. Um, 
but it is a little soupy in a sense for a pasta. So I don't know, this was like a weird meal. This was very similar to the ranch chicken, I thought. And so I ended up putting this on some wraps that we still had at the house. Cause I thought by itself, I just didn't have enough going for it. And um, actually when it, after it called for like cooking the chicken for the four hours, um, I ended up putting it in a casserole dish because I didn't have time to cook it for another 15 minutes. So I put it in the casserole dish, microwaved the cream cheese for like 30 seconds and um, then mix that into the already hot chicken um, that I put in the casserole dish. And uh, yeah, I just shredded the chicken with like two forks. I just kind of tore it apart. And then um, I topped with some cheese. And then by the time you microwave it, whenever you're gonna go eat it, because most of my meals get made at night when I'm not even eating. So um, yeah, it was perfect that way. So if you don't feel like dealing with having to, uh, you know, re-put it in the pot or anything like you don't have to. This is another way of doing it. Um, Saturday's leftovers and the uh, coconut flour blueberry muffins. Um, we didn't make these yet, so sorry. I think we are going to make them. I just haven't done so. We don't always get to these recipes. Like sometimes we just eat leftovers for a while and then my husband doesn't always eat everything either. So I just get leftovers. Like I didn't have any TV dinners this week at all. Um, but yeah, I, I have plenty of meals to just eat leftovers and stuff. Plus my kid doesn't always want to eat stuff like this. He's so like stuck in his ways, you know? Okay, keto vegetable pasta. We didn't make this either. Maybe that's why I was thinking a spaghetti squash. I don't know. We haven't made this yet either. Um, and today is Monday. So kind of gives you an idea of what's up. Um, Monday, this kind of, so today the plan was leftovers and sausage bell pepper keto breakfast recipe. So this looks so good. And so this recipe was stolen from, so someone on Instagram, like I think like some big keto brand that tries to get you to buy into their stuff, uh, like they constantly steal other people's recipes and claim it as their own. And sometimes they'll give you like links to where it originated from. Uh, but so I don't know exactly where this originated from. I didn't go search for her link. I found her page and I subscribed to her, but I didn't go searching for the video. So I just had to write it all out for you all based on what she said in the video and what made sense to me. So there you go. Um, I try never to like any of those videos, by the way. If it's some big company stealing other people's recipes and trying to get credit, I try never to like their video. I either try to go find the original person and subscribe to them or get the video and try to like tweak it based on what they say. I never subscribe. I never like give them any credit for them stealing other people's videos. So, and I try not to steal other people's videos. I try to always, you know, either give you the video, um, or at least like, usually I'll give you the video at least once and then I will tell you like anything I changed and stuff. But especially if I'm bothering to change it all to keto, I'm probably not going to give you the video, at least not more than once. Um, and if I'm bothering to write out all the instructions because they were lazy, I might not give you the video because I put effort into that, not them. So I feel like everybody should write out their own darn instructions. So <laughs> yeah. Um, Okay, so Tuesday is uh, the plan for this week is uh, leftovers and keto lemon loaf. We're actually going to try to make this uh, coconut flour instead. So I put those directions down below. And I try to include videos when I think you all will like them too, as far as like other people's videos. Because like I don't do cooking videos for you, so I kind of feel sorry for y'all. Sorry. Uh, Wednesdays, leftovers, and one pot chicken meal. 
Thursdays, leftovers, and stuffed salmon. I try to eat salmon once a week. It doesn't always happen, but it's good for you. Friday, leftovers, and my egg breakfast. I tell you how I do it, and then I tell you how to make it more keto, because how I do it is more of a cheating, low-carb-ish way, so... Saturday is leftover. Sunday is a mushroom quesadilla. So I've never done this before. This is completely random. I just feel like a mushroom quesadilla sounds really good. Um, I'm going to try two pounds of beef and one pound of ground sausage. We'll see how it goes. Because uh, I usually make like six quesadillas and then I have a little bit leftover that I give my kit separate. So... Um, the other meal is keto breakfast French toast muffins. That's a super meal, and I always double the recipe so that everybody can enjoy it. Because I like to have at least two meals of something. Um, it's just me. I don't like cooking. You might think I like cooking from all these recipes and everything that I'm doing with it. But my husband and I actually hate cooking. Uh, so, yeah. Because we, we hate the dishes afterwards, too. And we were never really taught how to cook. We had to teach ourselves how to cook. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Oh, wait. Uh, let's see. My weight ends. Oh, yeah. I told you I didn't lose any weight. Uh, my steps were about 12,000 every day, um, which is my average. I always make sure to get 10,000 during my workouts. So, thank you. Bye.